James. Believe it or not, our relationship is longer than yours and Brady's. <laughs> I can remember that day in PE when you were bugging me about meeting Brady for the first time. Looking back, I'm so glad that we all had eighth grade PE together 11 years ago. I guess you could say I'm the reason you guys ever got this thing going in the first place. We were in eighth grade and we were 14 and we had the same PE class and so he was next door in the gym. We had like a, the divider and he knew Brooke and so he asked Brooke to introduce us. And Brooke set it all up and I walked over to the side of the tent or the, the little barrier between the girls and guys classes and he walks around the corner. And as Brady got close to me, she, before I even got to say hello, hi, my great friend pulled down my pants Brady saw all of France, and, <laughs> and that's when she knew she was going to marry me. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't even remember like our next real conversation because it's hard to come back from that, but it was like, that was really awkward. <laughs> like, nice to meet you. Brady. Though I may have teased you growing up about being adopted, I can't imagine getting through life without you. You're a constant in our family, and you always try to keep the peace. I know if I've just had a fight with Brooke, mom or dad, or a horrible day, I can call you, and you will make it right, put me in my place, or show up on my doorstep to give me a hug. You are the calm that we desperately need in our crazy life. like the most genuine person I've ever met. And in awesome ways and funny ways, he's not afraid to be himself to anyone. And he's really, really loyal. Like for the people he loves, he would literally do anything. And he likes to laugh and have fun and keep me less serious. Yeah, yeah, he, he don't tell him I said that. He's funny, yeah. It was, I think I knew Austin was the one in college because even though we weren't at the same college, it was still like so natural for us to be together and like he still felt felt like my life and like a part of my life. I don't know, it wasn't like a, an exact moment, but it was just kind of like a feeling when we had to be apart, but we were still really close and still together. I think that's probably when I was like, this guy's staying around, <laughs> like you're, you're keeping him around. Oh, you're on my desk. Hi. Oh, gorgeous. Thank you. You like it? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Just like every day. Is it? <laughs> yes. I know. Kind of like a soccer uniform. Exactly like one. I can see now why you can't lift your arm. I know. It's like to here. <laughs> I know. Nice. Your tie looks good. Thank you. I like, you like it. it. You said blue. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> good. Let me. We come to you at this very, very special moment in life where we could celebrate the, the wedding between Austin and Brady. And Jesus, we want to thank you because you have surrounded Brady all of her life with such amazing friends and family. And they are right here in this room and we're all gathered together. Thank you for you making this all possible. Thank you for bringing Austin and Brady together. 
Thank you for making this family one huge happy family that will multiply and grow. In Christ's name, we praise you and we claim you and we cherish you and we pray to bless this marriage. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Josh, I can remember back in high school talking about you and Austin possibly getting married. Though I believed it then, it's crazy that we're finally here. You have always been a role model to me when it comes to our faith, and I know that you'll make the most perfect wife for Austin. Your love and compassion for others is something that I've never seen in anyone else. For 25 years now, I have been so proud to call you my twin, and nothing brings me more joy than to give my other half to your better half. In you, Austin, a very outstanding young man. I know your parents are proud of you. I know they believe in you. They see you as a young man of integrity and faith. And I know that you have character, you have principle, and I know that you delight in Brady, that you are looking forward to making this commitment with a genuine love in your heart. And Brady, your mother, your father are extremely proud of you. You've always been a special joy to them. Your parents have watched for you, they've prayed for you, they prayed as you made your commitments to Christ, prayed for you in your dating and especially in your relationship with Austin. They've seen you grow as a person, as a Christian, and I'm sure that your family could not be more pleased with the person that you are today. We rejoice in your union and pray God's blessing on you. Will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two persons in their marriage? If you will, say, we will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. I, Austin. I, Austin. Take you, Brady. Take you, Brady. To be my wedded wife. Be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. Hi, Brady. Hi, Brady. Take you, Austin. Take you, Austin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too. And there too. I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I be wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. In the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In token and pledge. In token and pledge of our constant faith, of our constant faith and abiding love, abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody and thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate everybody that's here celebrating this wonderful marriage. It's been a long time coming as most of you all know, 10 or 11 years, but the day's finally here and everybody, or we all appreciate every one of you all being here very, very much to a long life and marriage and very happy marriage. 
So thank you all. We love you very much. Love is stronger than death, and jealousy is cruel as the grave. Floods cannot drown love, and wealth cannot buy it. But love above all else. Let Christ's peace rule in your hearts. Always be forgiving as Christ has forgiven you. Love is not jealous or boastful, arrogant, rude or stubborn, irritable, resentful or possessive. Love is patient and kind. Love rejoices in the right. It bears, believes, hopes, and endures all things, for love is faithful and endless. Father, we come to here tonight to celebrate the wedding of Austin and Brady. We appreciate your presence tonight and forever. We ask you, Father, that you watch over them and bless them as they start their new life together. We thank you also, Father, for all the friends and loved ones we have here tonight. We ask you to bless this food we're about to protect and last. Forgive us all of our sins. In the name we pray. Amen. The thing I admire most about Austin is how passionate he is. Extremely passionate, and I know he'll be passionate about his career and about his marriage. And you're going to be a great married couple. And by judging Huck, your dog, you're going to be great parents because <laughs> he behaves really well. Austin, though sometimes I'm a little terrified to leave you and Ryan alone scheming for too long, I am so thankful you are officially my brother. Your heart is so kind. You forced Brady to stay awake past 9 p.m. <laughs> and I know that if I ever needed anything, you'd be right there. I'm so thankful Brady has you as a husband and I now have you as a brother. And now, Austin and Brady, may God the Eternal keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may abide in your home. Go to serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. And for the rest of us, bear witness to the love of God in this world so that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you generous friends. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. The love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Austin, may kiss the bride.